How are cars transported? Cars are a form of transportation in and of themselves for day-to-day, -day, recreational, and professional use. But for new cars and specialty cars, they need to be transported just like any other product. So, how are cars transported? Cars are transported via every major transportation mode, including trucks and railroads over land, steamship lines over the ocean, and air over both. As to which mode or combination of modes are used, it depends on the situation. New Cars For the sake of this exercise, let's say the new cars were manufactured overseas. In that case, after rolling off the assembly line, they may be covered in a protective wrap guard to prevent exterior damage on the way to the dealership. Then they travel, most likely via car hauler truck, to a port where they board an ocean liner very possibly a row-row, equipped with ramps to allow cars to roll easily on and off. Row, row, row your boat, indeed. These steamships can carry in the neighborhood of 8,500 cars at a time on their multiple decks. Once they've arrived at a U.S. port, a car hauler truck will either carry them, typically up to nine at a time, to the dealership directly or to an auto ramp to be taken on a longer journey via intermodal rail transportation. If the cars take the train, they'll be loaded via portable ramps onto an automotive rail car known as an auto rack. These are either bi-level or tri-level cars. Bi-level rail cars are usually used for trucks, minivans, and SUVs, and can hold eight to 10 of those. Tri-level rail cars hold up to 15 automobiles. You may be thinking new cars don't typically take the train, but according to the American Association of Railroads, freight rail moves nearly 75% of the new cars and light trucks purchased in the U.S., with auto ramps located all over the country. After the long rail journey is complete, it's off the ramp to another car hauler to reach the dealership and then the customer. Race Cars Race cars travel using different methods depending on the circuit and the distance between tracks. For IndyCar or NASCAR, which typically remain domestic, or at least in North America, teams take cars and equipment via specialized tractor trailers. These are owned by each race team and driven by drivers who work for the teams and often have other tasks at the track. Formula One typically goes over the road within Europe, but with a schedule that takes it across five continents, trucks are used to transport cars and other race equipment to the airport, where multiple dedicated jumbo jets take them off to the next race, courtesy of a logistics partner. Parts common among all cars are sent further in advance to each track on the circuit, often via ocean freight. No matter the race circuit, special care is used to pack these pricey vehicles securely to avoid shifting and any scuffs or scratches, with Formula One vehicles basically taken apart and separated into custom cargo crates when they travel through the air. Have questions about freight and logistics for your business or ready to go managed? Call us at 317-208-5565 or visit our website www.intechfreight-logistics.com and hit the request a quote button to tell us about yourself. We'll be happy to follow up with you to go over your specific business needs and offer up solutions. Please do give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to this channel to get future videos first. Thanks very much for watching.